Hello everyone, your Dr. Zia Tahir here. This video tutorial is vibration analysis of a steel cantilever beam in Abacus CAE. Model analysis of a steel cantilever beam is performed to find natural frequency and mod shape. So, a steel cantilever beam is being used here. So, steel cantilever beam, it's Length is 16 inches or 0 0.4064 meter. Its width is 1 inch or 25.4 millimeter. Its height is 0.125 inch or 3.175 millimeter. So the modulus of elasticity of beam material is used as 210 gigapascal. Its Poisson's ratio is 0.3 and its density is 7850. So what is required? to determine natural frequency and mod shape of first three modes of vibration and to compare results with analytical results. In this video, I am going to model this beam as a 3D. I have also uh, solved this problem as 2D. Here, vibration or model analysis of a 2D cantilever beam in a back of CAE or vibration analysis cantilever beam as 2D in a back of CAE, so where, so this is a simpler uh, analysis and now I'm going to do this as 3D. So steps of modeling and analysis in MATLAB, so it contains three steps, modeling, analysis and then visualization results. So these are the steps which I'll follow in modeling and then in analysis and visualization of results and the comparison with analytical results. So this is uh, these are the steps which I will follow. Keeping in mind that uh, there are no set units in Abacus, so you have to use your own set of units. Like you can use Newton meter Pascal, you can use pound inch uh, PSI, you can use Newton millimeter Naga Pascal or Newton per millimeter. So in this video, uh, in this problem, I am using Newton meter and Pascal. Before start, you need to set work directory where you want to save your uh, model file and results file for that file. Set work directory and I am going to set a work directory and then I am going to save this model. So cantilever can't beam 3D. So that is the name. So I saved this model so you can see here it's come cantilever and then this model as well. I am going to rename that, rename it as cantilever beam 3D. So these are the steps to start analysis. So the first step in the modeling is to create part and for this when you are going to do that as a 3D. So we need to create part which is 3D deformable solid extrusion. So here you can double click on part or just click on here in the part module, click on part. So 3D deformable solid extrusion and approximate size I am going to use here one. So one is the maximum dimension times by two. So maximum dimension is about 0.4 meter. So it is around double of that I am going to use continue and then I need to first sketch its rectangle uh, cross section. So cross section is a rectangle so I can use a rectangle, a random rectangle and now I can give its dimension. So its width is 25.4 millimeter. So 25.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 and its depth is, its depth is 3.175 millimeter. So 3.175 into 10 to raise part 3. So now that is model. So I can drag this model to uh, to the origin. So just holding it and then I can drag it or wherever I want. But let's say. So now that is the cross section. So once cross section is done. So I'll cancel procedure, done, and now it says that extrude length, extrude, so that is the length which is 0 
so that is the length so now this is created so this is length one inch width point uh, so one over eight and the length is 16 so that is part done so you can see it in 2d as well or in any plane next step is to create material and material need to add density and then uh, Poisson's ratio and modulus of elasticity so for material I can use module property module here the first option is material or I double click on the material and then material is steel and then in general density if density is 7850 then mechanical elasticity elastic and then Young's modulus is 2 then e raised power 9 and Poisson's ratio is 0.3 so that material has been created so material is being created you can click here to check the material okay or you can in the materials so you can expand it to check it next step is to create section and the section is solid homogeneous and then need to assign so for section here you have option of here is option of create section or here is a section so section is uh, let's say beam section it is a solid homogeneous continue and the material is steel okay so that section is being defined as a beam section and then need to assign section to assign section you can go into the part here is a section assignment or here you have assign section so no need of creating a set so select all that done and then okay so now one section is being signed its color change to green next step is to mesh and here i'm going to see it by part and approximate size i'm keeping it at 2.5 millimeter then mesh part and then assign element type so for this purpose either you can double click on mesh or you can go mesh module and then here it is seed part so I am using here uh, element size as 2.5 millimeter. So 2.5 e raised power minus 3. So 2.5 millimeter. Apply. Okay. And then mesh. Yes. So that is being meshed. And then assign element type. For element type is a standard 3D stress. And then you need to use here quadratic. Because if you select here in linear, it will not give you appropriate result. So you need to select a prop, uh, quadratic. And then in quadratic, you can use either like as a 20 node quadratic break, or you can use that break with reduced integration. So you can use that C3 D20 or C3 D20R. So most of literature uses that with reduced integration, but like. Uh, for this particular problem, if you are using that C3D20 or C3D20R, uh, the results are not that uh, different or there is no significant uh, change in the result. So now here by default it is C3D20R element is the, uh, that is element is selected. Next step is assembly to create instance. So that is simple. Either you can click on assembly here or you can go here assembly, create instance. Okay, so instance being created and here you can see that your part is there. Next step is to create step and the step is linear perturbation frequency. I am going to name it as a model and Egan forward is length of and Egan values requested are 5. So it's very simple. Either you can go into step. And create step here or otherwise you can go to step and then create double click to create step step is model and linear perturbation and then frequency continue and then non-linear geometry of Egan solver is length loss and maximum values I am going to request here 5 although in the problem is required 3 but I am going 5 for like two more and then i explain in the results of why i'm going for five okay so now you can see here the model load step is being created 
the next step in the load module need to create boundary condition and boundary conditions are displacement rotation so you need to set as initial and fixed boundary conditions are used at the fixed end so you have option here in the load module so here is the create boundary condition or you can double click on boundary condition here and step is initial mechanical and then displacement rotation you can go for this option symmetry and dismetry or in caster but i'm going for displacement rotation continue and then this space i am going to select as fixed so done and i am going to set all rotational and translational displacements at zero so now these are the boundary conditions set on one end so the modeling is done the next is analysis and need to create job and then data check and then submit so here in the module you have job so this is create job or you can double click on job to create job so i have named it as can't deliver beam 3d can't beam 3d continue okay and now this job has been created now i am going to submit for data check so data check is important like if you have missed anything or if there, if there is any problem in the model part so you can easily identify like once you set it for uh, submit for analysis so then it might take some time and after uh, some time it gives you an error so data check is complete without error so now i'm going to submit so job has been completed so analysis is completed next step is visualization of the results and for visualization of results you can right click on here to get results okay or file here you can go open and then okay so now you have your result file here that is a base state then that is the first mode that is the second mode and that is the third mode in the deformed so i am going to plot contour on both shape both deformed and undeformed so that is a base state and here you have like frequency of the first mode it is 16.131 then that is the second mode and for second mode frequency is 101.06 hertz the third mode is not what is required because this is in x z plane so that is the third mode not required we are looking for in yz plane basically we are looking for in yz plane and you can see in yz plane so there is no mode and then we have that fourth mode now so that is the fourth mode so fourth mode is actually the third mode in yz plane or in the plane in which it is we need so that is in xz plane so that is not required we are actually looking for mode shapes in yz plane so in yz plane first mode 161.131 then it is 101.6 second mode and then that is the third mode that is the third mode okay so we are not going to consider actual third mode here okay which is in the transverse direction and that is the third mode we need to consider and corresponding frequency is 282.92 next step is comparison with analytical results so for the same model so the script is here for the same model and then i can run that one so that is the first three mode shape of a cantilever beam so first three modes of cantilever beam so like that is the red one is the first mode and then its frequency is 16.06 so 16.06 is the uh, frequency of the first mode so in yz plane i can see so that is the first mode so that is the first mode and the same mode i can see here so that is the first mode its frequency 16.06 and we got here 16.0 uh, 16.1 
slightly different and then the second mode second mode frequency is 101.6 and that is a quarter uh, one wave and then quarter wave so here you can see the blue is the second mode one wave and then the quarter wave and then so its frequency is 100.65 so we got here 101.6 a slightly higher than that and then the third mode frequency is 281.86 so that is a one wave and then a quarter wave of that so the third mode is not which is required so then the fourth mode is a one wave and then a quarter wave and its frequency is 282.92 and theoretically is 281.86 so there is a slightly difference okay and this difference like you can get more accurate result by uh, decreasing the element size i have used 2.5 millimeter so if you further reduce that element size so then you can uh, get those results which, uh, which are uh, you are getting using analytical analysis so it is a summary of uh, the problem so vibration analysis of a 3D cantilever beam to get natural frequency and more shape for first three modes is required and I'm going uh, that is being performed in a back CAE. So the first need to set uh, I have selected the unit newton meter pascal then by setting web directly save the model then the first step is to create more model and 3D deformable solid extrusion then material and material need density and mechanical properties then section solid homogeneous then a sign section mesh and mesh in this case is uh, seed part and element size is selected at 2.5 and element type is c3 d20 then create in strength in assembly then create step and step is a linear perturbation frequency and econ solver is used as length loss and econ value requested are 5 and then boundary conditions are fixed and uh, the fixed one and is fixed so then a job is being created so job is first to apply data check and if there is no problem then submit it and finally the visualization so the results for natural frequency and more shapes are obtained and then the comparison with analytical results performed i hope uh, you find this video helpful thank you very much for watching